What's up guys, this is Thomas and in today's video we are taking a look into the current price bounce that we are seeing in the crypto market. We are going into the question if this is a bull trap or if we can expect sustainable growth. To do that we are also taking a look into other charts and also market data. But before we are getting started make sure to leave a like and a comment for the algorithm so more people can see this. And without further delay, let's get straight into this. First things first, so right here we are in the Bitcoin chart. You can see we had a nice bullish flag right here. Today we have broken to the upside of this. So far very nice, but don't judge the day before it's over because there is still a lot of time left till the daily candle will close. We are even before the stock market opening right now. So it will be very interesting to see if this will continue and especially if we are staying above this bullish flag right here. This would be a very good sign if we are staying above this bullish flag and also making a daily candle close above this bullish flag. This would then speak for further price increases. And speaking about price increases, we also had some very nice price increases in the altcoin market. Uh, the top mover today is waves and fortunately here we can see it. we have a nice candle and fortunately i was able to catch this move you can see it right here last evening so you can see it's here it's 10 hours ago i made this post i just swapped the position in my portfolio what i just did is i have sold my bttc so my BitTorrent. Uh, i have sold all of them and bought waves with that money this has nothing to do with fundamentals, it's just about the technicals and the simple reason that I think in the short to midterm waves will make a bigger bounce than BitTorrent. Bought waves at 441, um, so I've posted that over there on Patreon, you know there I post everything I'm doing. This was of course a perfect catch over there, especially that this is also the top mover, happens very rarely. I'm very happy that this happens and that this played out so well right here. As I said, I have posted this on my Patreon account. There I post everything I do. So also how I will continue with this trade and when I will close it, when I will take profits. So definitely make sure to check that out. That is the first link in the video description. And right now we want to take a look into the market data to see if these profits are sustainable and we can expect some further gains sustainable gains or as I said if this is a bull trap so I would say let's go the first chart we are taking a look at is the Bitcoin longs we have taken a look into this several times over the last weeks in case you have not seen this or are new to the channel let me quickly tell you uh, what we were looking at this right here so this are the Bitcoin longs and the yellow line right here or the orange line that you are seeing is the Bitcoin price and in the last summer correction, we had the pattern that while the Bitcoin price was moving to the downside, while we were in the summer correction, the longs have increased till a certain point. And that was also the turning point. And then the longs were sold into this move to the upside. And we had a similar pattern or having a similar pattern right now, which you can see right here. So the price is correcting while Bitcoin longs increasing massively but right now we are coming to the first changes that we are having and that is that the last time in the summer correction so right here you can see at the turning point so where the longs have turned around and started to getting sold into this upward move so the highest point right here was also almost at the very bottom of this correction right here so that we're just you can see the highest point is here and price has already started to recover um, but not very much so we were still at the very low levels right here and that is something that we cannot see right now so we are of course also if you are taking a look right here into the btc chart we are also not have moved very much to the upside but including this wick we have already moved up six thousand dollars and that is something that we not have done here in the last summer correction here it looked different but you know in general it can be said that 
it is not likely that something is playing out like in the past or not exactly like in the past. The big question right now is of course if that means that this pattern is invalid or if we still have the chance that this is still valid but it just plays out a little bit differently. So far we are moving to the upside right here. We have slowed down a little bit so that is pretty much looking like this one right here where we also were at very high levels then also slowed down uh, but still continued to increase a little bit before we got the turnover right here in the Bitcoin longs and longs started to decrease and then really the move to the upside happened. So for me right now there are two possible scenarios. The first one is pretty much the scenario that I've just pointed out right here so that we are starting at some point to decrease and then continue to see further price increases. That is the thing that is still on the table. On the other hand we also have the scenario that we are increasing in price or continuing to increase in the price but we are also just continuing to increase in the longs and that would speak for a scenario so for the more or less um, what we are used to as a scenario in the in the Bitcoin longs. So with rising prices we are also seeing an increasing amount in Bitcoin longs and then at some point we are seeing a correction and a flush out of longs in the market so longs getting liquidated that is the second scenario right here the thing right here is that we have already increased a lot in the long positions right here and we are at very low price levels which then would mean that the longs are right and that the longs are positioned on the right side but that would be very unlikely for me because what we are seeing right here so this one right here increasing long positions while the price is declining this is not retail investor behavior the normal retail investor behavior is something like this one right here when the price is moving to the upside the longs are increasing at some point we are correcting and then they get liquidated, then the price is increasing again, longs are also increasing again, with the correction they get liquidated again. That is normal retail investor behavior and not this one right here. Of course this one right here is on the Bitfinex exchange, so that is, this is also not representing the whole market, but that is also why we have looked at, at this pattern right here that, have, that has played out the last time in the summer correction because here this was also not retail investor behavior. Here we have also seen that we have increasing long positions while the price is declining and right now we are also seeing this. So this would be very unlikely for me if this scenario would play out right now because that would mix up the behaviors right here. That would mean we have here that is more of a professional behavior uh, buying into decreasing prices and then selling into um, increasing prices and if you would have something right now that we have increasing long positions while the price is decreasing and right now we have increasing or continuing to have increasing long positions while the price is increasing this would be retail investor behavior and that would mix this whole thing up that is why for me it is unlikely but you know nothing is impossible that is why i'm still keeping a look on here the bitcoin longs i think this is very interesting to see how this will play out for me it is still in favor that we are seeing something like right here like we have seen in the last summer correction but right now we are getting to the point if this growth that we are seeing right now is sustainable or not even if these increases that we have already seen are tremendous and immense increases right here doesn't mean we are already at the finish line. It could be the case that for example if we are comparing this to the summer correction that we are somewhere in between here so that we have a move to the upside but um, still have increasing long positions because the correction is not over yet. This is also a possible scenario we have to take into account. Another thing that is also not speaking for the retail investor behavior, so that we are yeah, that we are seeing this one right here. So with increasing prices, increasing longs, you know, we had increasing longs 
and uh, let's take a quick look into the fear and greed index so the general market sentiment right now last night it has dropped again so from 14 to 10 and you can see that we are in these very low levels for quite some time now if we take a specific look since the 9th of may so that are 21 days so three weeks right now that we are in this absolute extreme fear levels and we have also taken a look in the past here in the history chart of the fear and greed index and we can see that this has happened just two times that we have stayed there for such a long period of time the first time was after the covid crash you can see this right here here we also had these extreme low levels of the fear and greed index and it took basically from here so from the 13th of march till the yeah so till the 20th of april so that is one month and one week uh, that we are, have stayed in these very low levels but you can see here we have also bounced around also got uh, one time to the 22 levels and the second time we had this was at the bottom of the last bear market so in december 2018 here we also stayed in this range for um, here that was the 22nd of november and we have left this range on the 16th of december uh, maybe one or two days later so that is basically pretty exactly one month right here and that is a little bit more than one month right here and right now we are in here for three weeks so that means eventually there is still some time that can pass before we are starting to move to the upside right here but we are in here for three weeks and also these three weeks we have not made a bounce right here we really have stayed in these very low levels and that is something that we not have seen the last times here we have made some smaller bounces from time to time here also you can see this here we have bounced to the 19 level to the 19 level and again to the 19 levels so here we had some bounces that is something that we are not seeing right here i've also pointed it out very likely that that is because of the market conditions because we not have the same market conditions for example in march 2020 than we have right now and right now we are taking a quick look into the buyer index this one right here the self-developed indicator uh, that is showing us how many buyers are in the market here you can see we are still stuck in this sideways range which means there is a lot of upside potential we are having like we had it right here in march 2020 you can see here also we were at very low levels which is a very positive sign um, but here you can see we have started to increase very fast again which signals that there is still some interest in the market and that is something that we not have right now you can see we are stuck here in this sideways range for over three months right now also with the bounce that we have just made this has not changed currently we are at the minus 59.9 levels right here so at very low levels as i said this means there is a lot of potential a lot of upside potential but as long as we are not increasing here as long as we are not leaving the sideways range my thesis is that this growth in the market will not be sustainable and that is also why back then it was different so here we also had these very low levels uh, also in the fear and greed index we had these very low levels we had a similar similar pattern that we also have stayed in this very low levels but we have a different in the price so here we have already increased in the price and that is something that we are not or not have seen in the current bitcoin price right now of course right now this could change but as i said the market conditions were different back then because here the interest in the market came back very quickly and right now it is not coming back so far it is also not coming back and that is also bringing us to the question if this growth will be sustainable or not uh, from the current perspective i would say no because we are still stuck in this sideways range right here and you know as long as we are not leaving this signals no interest uh, which also is speaking for no sustainable growth but let me end the statement right here 
the thing is that we are oversold or that we were oversold in the most projects and cryptos we are still oversold the market is in such a big fear as you can see right here as i said we had never had this before so since inception of the fear and greed index in the crypto market we never had it that we stayed for such a long period of time in these low levels uh, without any bounces so that we are really stayed in the extreme fear levels constantly for three weeks we never had this before uh, so the market is absolutely depressed we had a liquidation move so the thing is that we are overdue for a bounce to the upside for an at least retracement a recovery in the market back to the norms that is something that is likely to happen which is also why from my personal view it would be likely that we are continuing these increases right here just from the perspective that we have to do a recovery in the market because you know the market is always moving in waves so it's never going straight down and it also never goes straight up even if you are in a bear market or in a bull market from time to time there are corrections in a bull market and there are also some bounces in a bear market and that is why it is likely for me that we are continuing to move to the upside right here the thing that will be very interesting to see is that when we have done this when we have moved to the upside right here and we are still not seeing an increasing amount in the buyer index leaving this sideways range um, and showing some interest in the market plus also that the bitcoin longs are not decreasing this is speaking for no sustainable price increases so that means that likely this move to the upside will fail last like we have seen right here the last times you can see right here also nice price increases failed very fast several times and that was also while the buyer index was in the sideways range right here and we had no interest in the crypto market so what i want to see is a change in that i want to see interest is coming back to the crypto market in case this is not happening then i will definitely sell some parts of my portfolio once we are getting back up here and there are no signs of the interest coming back into the market then as i said i will sell some parts of my portfolio if the interest is coming back then i will behave differently so that is depending on the market but that is the current view on the market and the current things we are waiting for or i am waiting for on the market you know in case there should be any important updates i will update you first as always on patreon like here last night with the waves trade here you always get the information first handed so definitely make sure to check that out as i said it is the first link in the video description and that's already it for this video in case you liked it as i said in the beginning of the video then feel free to leave a like and a comment for the algorithm so more people can see this and with that being said i would say we will see each other in the next video and as always guys have a nice day